Okay, so we and the boys hit up the heavens of the nine realms, right? And then absolutely dugged on the gods, and they cried like little babies. Then we took their tears and made mad dripping riptide pirates merch out of them, baby. But there's only one week left to snag the Riptide Pirates Drip at JRWIShop.com. You gotta go to JRWIShop.com, dude, and get one of those god-tier Riptide Pirate sweaters. Alright, Felipe out, dropping the mic, deuces. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Just Roll With It. My name is Grizzly, and I'm the DM. I'm Condi, I play Jay. I'm Bizzle, I play Chip. Charlie Slime School, I play Gilliam Pulsestrider. Where are we last left off? Whoa. The three of you, Chip, Gillian, and Jay, captains of the Riptide Pirates, found yourselves following around Felipe after a uh, somewhat attempt of starting an empire of eliminate business, talking to the Grand Priestess of the Temple of the Moon, and then heading up to the Sun City, talking to uh, uh, Polo, one of the priests of the Temple of the Sun, confessing your sins and learning about Aster, the Sun Goddess, and then falling into a rift into the Feywild surrounded by trees a dragonfly flying overhead jay now having cat ears and cat whiskers gillian followed by a, a sparkling mist or aura and and chip being on drugs you guys headed into a place called cass's carnival gillian and jay took a pack with the ticket uh unfortunately not having u.s dollars to pay for them and those packs were Gillian having to greet all trees with reverence and Jay being obsessed with unicorns, Chip being the most grounded one of the group for once, and getting a free ticket that was left by some sort of anonymous benefactor. Once inside the carnival, you follow Jay's whims to the, you know, the carousel of, of wooden unicorns who came to life in a whimsical display. And after successfully solving the puzzle of dual uh, um, sort of related words, they whispered into your mind secrets about three hags and how they steal from those in the carnival. You went and flew on some giant dragonflies, meeting a, a, a very bubbly and excitable sapling treant named Northwest, daughter of Kanye, the treant. <laughs> yes. You head into the Hall of Illusions, your third stop here in the carnival. And <laughs> Charlie's giving me the death stare. <laughs> <laughs> and after witnessing a half-filling couple begin to propose, and then the uh, proposee fall into a fit of laughter, sending the proposer into the Hall of Illusions, um, sobbing. Gillian chased after him, only to see that he was being taken by some ghoulish small girl wearing a pig mask. The two of you trying to get the halfling that disappeared back begin to summon the ghoulish girl, and uh, in a very unfortunate moment, the two of you were stunned briefly. And when your vision unblurred, Jay felt as if she had lost something, but unsure what it is. And Gillian was staring at an empty tank where Pretzel once was. And so the journey continues. Felipe and, um, and uh, Chip were having musicals and walking around with churros, going to get a cinnamon pretzel. Chip, you walk past a few little mini games as you are hanging out with Felipe, deciding not to go into the Hall of Illusions. So as we're walking along, I, I, I kind of just say to, say to Felipe, no, so it was originally called the Big Chipper. Oh, then yeah? Gillian blew up the ship, and then we got the new one, and then oh, I decided we should call it the Millennium Chipper. No shit, man, that's crazy. Cool name, right? Yeah, yeah, wait, yeah, the Millennium Chipper? Millennium Chipper. What are you, some kind of geek? No. Oh, I don't no, know. No, it's anything. like it's just like for really I'm, big, really awesome chipper. Yeah, but what do I know? I'm three days old. I don't get a Gillian and Jay. They were all like, "Oh, I don't know. What if we call it the Albatross?" I'm like, "What is what that? Is that? I exactly, don't know, man. I don't even know what, what that is, is an Albatross. I don't know. Some kind of like fish. Yeah, they're probably probably a fish thing. I don't know. Fish? But like, we 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 called it we call it that now most of the time. But the real ones uh -huh. know that it's the Millennium Chipper. Oh, I, dude, I'm a real one. I mean, the Millennium know, Chipper all I the way. I know you're a real Actually, one, Actually, you know what? Roll Persuasion. That's going to be a um, 28. 
Dude, the Millennium Chipper is the coolest name ever. Right? Yeah. Oh my God! I knew that people would agree. Uh, I you know they just they just say that it's supposed to be called the the albatross, and I'm like, that's so lame. Yeah, I agree, and I'm worth like five people. Yeah, what is that? What is that over there? Oh, that that's a, Me- Memer Mesmer. Oh, it's some kind of like little. Uh, I don't know, man. Look at the map. Oh, it's Memorays, Memorays, man. Memorays. Oh, it looks like some kind of maze or something. Oh, you like mazes? I'm not. I'm not very good at mazes. Well, like let's I. go ask. Uh, this is like dude right here. He's like, hey, hey. Yo, and you guys see this like this like very normal, elven like half elven like boy that kind of like reminds you of Ollie just because of the brown hair and like the freckles, and he's just sitting there like looking around. Oh, uh, uh, yes, hello, well, welcome. hey, what's up? Um, hello, hello. what's yes. uh, what do you, what do you, what is all this? What? What, oh, do, what uh, is this? What is this? Oh, you you mean the the uh, thing behind me? Yeah, um. Yeah. This uh welcome to the he like looks at his wrist. Welcome to the Memorize uh Hall of Memories and uh your best days. Memories and best days. Hall of Memory you, you walk in here, it's like you if you succeed the maze, you get to uh pick anyone in the world alive or dead and have a conversation. And um, if uh, and then if you if you don't make it through the maze, you have to relive one of them. Um, I don't actually. Uh, I didn't write it down. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell. Don't tell the uh, the others. No, I'm not gonna tell. I can have a conversation with anyone, alive if, or dead. If you make it through the maze, is it like? Is it really them? No, it's. Uh, I mean, it it's very magic. Everywhere is magical, man. So there's you. Uh, you found um. It's all magic. As long as you make it through, then uh, magic, anything can happen with magic. This whole place is magic, isn't it? Isn't it magic? Uh, yeah. The whole place is magical. Yeah, super magical. You magical, say, right, you say that and like next to your feet, daffodils start sprouting in the grass. Look at that, dude. All right, I'll punch your ticket. You go in. Oh, I'm go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh, you don't have to ride it. I don't want to pressure you or anything. No, dude. Oh my God. You know, I could talk to, I could talk to fucking Ashley Tisdale. If I make it to- <laughs> Ashley Tisdale, she played Sharpay in High School Musical. Oh, I just thought we were singing songs. What? I have never seen it. Dude. What? When we get back, we're going to invent television. <laughs> and we're going to play <laughs> High School Musical all the time. Down. All right. All right. Gonna, punch it. We're going to live. Okay. Would you like to cut over now? Yeah, we can cut over, man. Sure. Ah! No! What's wrong? Are you no! okay? Gillian, Gillian, why is your bowl empty? She's gone, Jay. That pig girl took her. Gillian, I think you know what we have to do. We're gonna break her out. Break her out of where? The mirror. The mirror? I'm gonna hit the mirror as hard <laughs> as I can. Roll to attack. 22. 22 hits. I'll let you roll damage. Okay, cool. I'm gonna hit the mirror really hard. Uh, 25, um, 32. You smack it. And like I said, at first it has this very rubbery uh, reaction to your strike. And then as it, in like an instant, it sort of stretches flat and then everything shatters into like almost like sparkling silver dust with this loud glass breaking sound. And behind it is just the tent wall. Yeah, but there's nothing behind it. There's nothing behind it. And uh, you'd also notice, or Jay, at least with your passive perception, Mm -hmm. the music outside, once he breaks one of the mirrors, sort of slows in its tempo. I failed her, Jay. In this sick, twisted, demented carnival, I fell for its candy-coated traps. We can can find her still. Oh, I want to do more than find her. I want to find who took her. And I want to take them apart. You see, as Gillian leans down and he is kind of talking to himself. Um, and you see as the as the sparkles around him, this funny, zany, quirky pixie dust starts to like turn into almost like a charcoalish color. And you hear him start to make another oath. <laughs> As he holds down and he and he and he clenches 
his fist. I made an oath in the undersea to protect the creatures of it and to protect that world. But I didn't protect a creature of it. My friend, my pet, Pretzel. And this, Jay, isn't my world. He puts his, he, ta- he draws his sword, he draws Destiny's blade, and he basically sits down and puts it in front of him. The plan is to turn my moisture to malice. <laughs> <laughs> and you see his behind, he starts to pull out the dread helm. My restraint into retribution and my destiny into vengeance. <laughs> and he puts on the dread helm as the fairy aura around him goes dark, as does the blade of Destiny's blade, becomes this almost obsidian color. And I will get my vengeance. <laughs> Gillian, Gillian, I had to say Gillian, Gillian, I, had, I really had Gillian's to say. Gillian's dead. <laughs> I'm Gillian bad. Well, Gillian bad, I really had to say you're looking really good today. Oh, that's right. She has she has a compliment, everyone. <laughs> Do you still have that map, Jay? Chip has it. Does he? Yep. Oh. Well, then he's the first person we need to find. I'm sure he's chowing down on a delectable cinnamon treat. But nothing sounds sweeter to me than vengeance. I'm gonna, can I sprint out to find Chip? so I can get the map. Yeah, I mean, you sprint out the exit. These, by the way, just so you guys know, I have no idea these guys could give, be giving me like the most heat insane looks right now. I have my glasses off. <laughs> I'm fully in my own world. You sprint out of the Hall of Illusions and in front of you, or not in front of you, Don't but off in the distance, you see the mime who is uh, who is like like trying to wave softly over, but also cowering, especially when you walk out and you don't look the same. And so he honestly, as soon as you walk out and you look like that, he goes to wave and then he like cowers down, looks away and then tries to walk away without you even noticing. Yeah, I make I, I make a really big fake baseball bat. <laughs> like I hold on to something like it looks like it's a really big weapon and I start swinging it around. Oh, he notices that you are trying to mime a big weapon. And so um, he, he like puts up his hands as if to, you know, uh, like when you're getting pointed at a gun in a hold up or something, he puts up his hands, like don't shoot kind of thing. I see a shield. Come on, Jay. It's not worth it. He's a mime. <laughs> <laughs> Mimes are never worth it, Gillian. It's okay. No. So you start to look for, for, for chip. Go ahead and roll just the general like perception. Uh, that's 13. Uh, what does this all say, man? 14. You don't notice chip. Damn it. Anywhere, but you d- at least from walking out of the Hall of Illusions, but you do notice four of these very similarly dressed, like in the like in a carnival uniform, like a bombastic gesture type kind of polka dotted striped colorful uniform as they're walking towards you with their hands out, like trying to calm you like a wild beast. And one of them pipes up and go, and they go, "Oh golly gee, there, friend, we don't do threats of violence here in the carnival. Is there anything that we can help you with to improve your mood?" Yes, there is. Give me my frog to push back and show me the one that took her. Another, another one pipes up. Sir, we don't know what you're talking about, but we do have someone that can help you with lost items. Oh, that's They are great. over at Lost Property by the ticket booth. Please put the bat down. <laughs> I put down... The, the the fake <laughs> invisible mime bat that I've had out this entire time. I believe and, you. And yeah, and pull out a real <laughs> a, a, a real baseball bat. So Where wait, are you just, keeping that? Just checking something. Did you just point a gun at one of the guys? A fake one. <laughs> Oh, oh, because you think that they think every every fake weapon we do is real. Yeah. Oh, that's that's actually really, that's funny. I make a fake rocket launcher. Uh, one of them freaks out, falls down, and pisses his pants. Oh, my and God. Goes, whoa, 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 whoa
whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. We don't need to get down to, we don't have to do this kind of violence. And then four more of these like uh, uh, uniformed staff mem- hand members of the carnival fair uh, walk up and they start surrounding both of you. And they're like, Bang, okay. Just kidding, it's one of those prank guns. Don't worry, <laughs> I got you new pants, but I give him fake my pants, but I make it look like I'm giving him real pants. We just need to ask you to put your weapons away. This isn't a real weapon though. And stop threatening our staff. Would you like direction to the lost property building? That would be great. Yes. Please follow us. And they start to escort you. Do you allow them to escort you? Yeah, but I crawl. Yeah. Okay, sure. I, I stalk yeah. along. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> You're scaring me. <laughs> Chip, you walk in into the, the memoraze, the maze. And at first, there's a few, four, like, you know, it's like a few corridors. You're kind of surrounded by like lollipops, almost like a corn stalk maze, but instead they're lollipops. And as you're walking through and the sticks, like the lollipops are like massive. And some of them are the lollipops that are just the swirling kind of candy. Uh, and you take a few r- uh, turns, like right, left, and uh, you know, curve a few corners. And then you come to a large door. And on it, uh, uh, like right above it, these two like horns pop out cartoonishly and they start playing some kind of like uh, jazzy cartoon Mickey Mouse type rap beat. And you hear over the intercom, if you want to save some time, you will have to hit us with a rhyme. But, but Felipe, do you know any rhymes? Oh my fucking God, dude. We have to drop heat in here. We gotta drop some bars? I don't know. Uh, uh, you go, go first. I'll, I'll, I'll follow you up. I really want to get through this door to open up. Don't be a whore. Ah, you hear like a like a buzzer. Um, um, um. Please refrain from using swearing. I'm sorry that I called you a whore. I have a condition. Please ignore. <laughs> ding ding. <laughs> oh, so it didn't count that time. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh man, I guess I gotta go next. Uh, uh, yo, if you're ever feeling stressed, just grab a breast. Ah. Vulgar! You hear yeah, that's a, little, that's a little much. Oh, man. I've only been alive for three days, dude. I don't know. Well, how about take a rest? It looks like we have two X's and one green light. Find the nest. Eat, be the best. Well, I don't know. You go. Take the test. Oh, okay. Um, um. We go, can't get, don't get it wrong again. <laughs> please let me through. Uh, uh yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm bombing here. I'm bombing here. Yeah, well, you got this. Bar right. for bar, bar for bar. All right. Uh, uh, hey, yo, uh. Don't act so macho. We could get some taco. Eat some nacho. Guapo. Guapo. Gustavo. That no. Gacho. I want to find a magic man who can help my bird because that's the plan. Oh, we don't know yeah. what to ding, do. Ding, ding. I was walking around yeah, with the crew. I got yeah. Gillian and oh, Jay. God. Everybody too up on the boat. Yeah, we doing what we do. Yeah, oh, going no. so crazy on the oh, ship so wild. Yeah, we going bars. there and we got that little child. His name, Ollie. Yeah. Ollie. Oh my yeah, God. He, the oh, door explodes open no, in wait. front of you. He don't do drugs. You, go, you keep going, but it explodes open in front of you and like confetti bursts around you. The I don't know what came over me, Felipe. The, the, the lollipops start like bouncing up and down, but next to you is fucking creepy, but they're jamming with you. And then the door opens and you guys go and you like basically take a shortcut through the memorize. Go ahead and roll a uh, survival check. Natural 20. Oh my oh! god, easy enough. Plus you, seven. You dart and dash through this maze like you're just seeing all the traps and tricks. You don't get stuck for a second. And less than a minute, you're already at this uh, at this other next uh, to like another chamber. And you see- as, as we're walking though. Felipe, do you think they'll actually let us just talk to anybody? What do you, uh, yeah, well, well, like, uh, like anybody in the world who, ever? Who would you talk to? I have an idea, but like, I don't know. Man, I'm a little nervous. Do you think we should wait for your friends to get here before we get um, there? No, probably not. I mean, the boys? I think I think I just got to do this alone. You sure? Yeah, yeah. All right, bet. Well, uh, yeah, I look at that, man. There's another door. Oh, shit. And you see on the door, it's actually not like, like two like wooden things or anything like that. It's composed of two like muscular flexing arms that are forearms are pressed against each other. And you hear again over like some kind of intercom, show us your strength. Oh, I'm not very good at that. And then you hear like a a, a fucking boxing jam. Like, you know the song. So do I punch it? A little bit, uh, lift me up. Okay. I lift him up. All right, string tight. 13. All right, you get him up and then you kind of like weasel. You can't hold him too long. I blow him down. Will that work? No. What do you pick me up? Maybe it's a fucking puzzle. I wish we had the other guys here. <laughs> oh, puzzle. 
man. Oh, Show yeah, wait, your strength. We can do this, man. Okay. It's two arms. By the way, the DM is coming up with this with you, by the way. So, like, we're, we're like, actually, doing it. it's two arms. What does it mean? Two arms. All right, two arms are flexing. What does that do? I flex. Yo, yo, yo. Kill does it work? Roll performance. 18. 18. All right. You see uh, one of the fists, like, unclench its hand, and then the other one does the same, and then they grab it, and now they look like they're about to arm wrestle, and they're shaking. Oh, oh, God, dude. Yo. Yo. <laughs> so you and Felipe grasp arms. <laughs> um, roll strength death check. 20. Not natural. You beat Felipe so bad, and my arm kind of breaks. <laughs> Whoa, are you are you okay? <laughs> you break Felipe's I'm arm. I'm sorry. <laughs> you popped you popped, you popped the shoulder out of the socket. You, you oh man, I'm only three days old. I'm so sorry. You, I you and then I you just, watch. I really want to get in there. <laughs> and then you watch uh, more confetti <laughs> burst, and then the two arms, one of them uh, slams the other one down, and you're able to walk past. Here, them. I got. Let me let me help you get that back in there. Oh, wait, no, 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 Oh man, I I, hey, I think it popped back in. Don't, I, don't touch me again. It's not supposed to make that sound. It didn't like, pop back in. It didn't. But you the guys to, are gonna think this sounds no, pretty cool. No, don't fucking touch me. He like runs. So he starts God, to run sorry. away. He runs away past <laughs> the, the, the arms. Hey, wait Jeez, up, Jesus man. God. All right. Um, and uh, you guys start running through the maze once again, and you too, as they're getting through the maze and a really nice pace because of that natural twenty, Hey-o. you get taken to the lost properties. And outside, you see this large feline creature, midnight blue fur. It's this displacer beast that has uh, tentacles extending, you know, from the shoulders, uh, wears fake butterfly ring wings that are massive, just like everyone else that works at this carnival. Um, and hanging from its collar is like a small wooden uh, keg. And um, this this uh, creature at the moment is sort of playing with two small children, and one of the uh, the boys uh, that is being played with squeals. <laughs> Again! Well, the other one hangs onto this this creature's neck, and you guys are being escorted Look, up Jay, to it. Children. Yeah, they're having so much fun, Gillian. <laughs> little, <laughs> remember, remember when we had fun? Little <laughs> evil people. And uh, as the staff sort of presents you both to this beast, uh, it nudges away at, at the two kids, and they go they go playing off like nearby, but not in front of you. And it looks at you and gets up on all fours and. And it says, What is lost? A frogtopus, pretzel, a child like those took her from me. There are troubling times amongst Cass's carnival that I believe puts Mr. Cass on edge. I too had my cup stolen some time ago. Well then, I think it's fair that me and my friend here are a little on edge too. You never tried to find your cub? I must watch after these children as part of my duty. Will I have a duty too? I can assess as much. The mood of the carnival steadily drops yeah, with your arrival. I'm not feeling the vibe right now. And it is kind of more jazzy and slow, like we're listening to right now. Just da, 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 da. Like just very, everything is not as boppy or bouncy. It's a little more mellow. I still have the Dread Helm on, by the way. I know, and it looks at you unaffected by your, like, it's it's also pretty, like, it's gaze, it's, it has like this terrifying eye-piercing gaze, but yeah. it's dressed like a butterfly, it doesn't make <laughs> <laughs> a smile. And where can I find these cats? If you wish to look for that stolen and not lost, finding the owner would be a fair step. But until the big extravaganza, he rests in his tent behind the big top. 
and he eyes towards just down the the road a little bit that three swooping the biggest tent here in the carnival well guarded in the staff area he is a kind man and would listen to reason but not before the extravaganza i think we can see to an extravaganza if you wish to perform he may take more of a liking i think we can give him quite the show right jay <laughs> yeah all right thank you and if we do see your cub we will let you know it looks down sort of solemnly and says my cub's name is star it followed a small girl and a big mask. Oh, that's how I lost my pretzel too. Gillian just is staring at him, and he's got this like, f- like this black cloud around him. He's gonna spin around really fast so the f- the cloud obscures him, and then try and run away, <laughs> so that it looks like when the cloud is gone, he's gone. You mean like a bat bomb? Like or a something? bat, like a smoke bat bomb. In order to control the sort of sparkling thing yeah, around yeah. you, you can roll Arcana. Oh, bet. I think it's a mi- I have a minus one to work on a 16. Yeah, you're able to uh, disappear in a cloud of sparkling mist. Black <laughs> smoke. <laughs> uh, and Jay, you cough it up and then I assume you just, you follow along or is there anything you like to do? Um, yeah, I follow along, yeah. I, pu- I poke out of a nearby bush. Jay, over here. Before you walk away, Jay, it uh, it puts a tent, like one of its shoulder tentacles uh, to tap your the side of your arm and it says, please find star. I cannot forgive myself. If they ask, my name is Dola. We won't rest until we find Star and also Pretzel. (laughs) Many of those that are supposedly protected in this carnival have had things stolen. (laughs) I'm back now. (laughs) Hey, just passing through. How, why does it keep happening? Does no one try to stop it? Does anybody know who the little girl in the pig mask is? There may be one who knows more. His name is Bingo. He guards the staff area and is close with Mr. Cass. We'll go talk to him now. A nice talking I to you. I appreciate right? that you're matching my vibe right now, Jay. I've decided I need to bring the vibe down. As you guys uh, uh, walk from Durla, where are you heading? To the staff area. The okay. Staff area. So you were told yeah. that the staff area is behind the, area. the big tent, the um, big top. which is called the big top. And the only really way to get to the staff area is to walk through We've the We've got to get to the big bottom of Before this. that, though, we cut once more back over to ship, and you have made your way to uh, um, uh, through the maze, but go ahead and roll one more survival check. 22. You think it's almost over? Uh, I mean, usually this thing works in threes. And then as soon as he says that, you guys walk into one more chamber and you oh. see this very, very large bird oh. standing oh. in front of the pathway. Hi, what's up? It looks down at you. How many feathers do you think I have? It's a huge bird. Very cute. It looks down. How many? Enough, I think, right? I know exactly how many feathers I have. Yeah? If you guess correctly, I'll move. If I were here, I'd say none and attack it. (laughs) (laughs) None after I'm done with you. (laughs) You know what? It's probably a good thing you're not. You want me to guess how many feathers you have? Yes. Maybe you could just tell me. I mean, look, I'll be completely (coughs) honest. Um, I've got, uh, I've got, I've got some really important, uh, I've got a really important person I want to talk to, and I can't really do that without your help right now. And I don't normally ask sincerely, but I could use some help. Roll persuasion. 17. The bird starts crying. (laughs) Okay, I have 354 feathers. That feels low. Are you sure? No! but you can guess next time and then flaps its wings and starts to, to lift up, but only one. Oh, wait, wait, what? Man? Sorry, dog. someone's got to guess my feathers. 
Oh, you fucking kidding? And then you like walk under. You got it though, Felipe. And then uh, she goes. I believe the in bird, you. The bird comes right back down. And he's like, oh, you. Oh, well. I'll see you out there. Come on. Uh, and you continue through the maze. And you get to um, <sighs> the very end. And right before the exit, you don't see where you would emerge. You just see this sort of like uh, a cylindrical uh, platform on the ground. And right in front of you, uh, right in front of that platform is this sort of like uh, lolly shop, or sorry, lollipop that is clear. Good golly, Gillian, do you think Pretzel's going to be here? Jay, stop saying stupid shit like that. No, oh, she's not going to be here. But this fool's going to know exactly where she is. And if he doesn't, I'm going to eat him. I'm going to eat this guy. If he doesn't know where Pretzel is, I'm going to fully consume him. Gillian, that's fucked up. As long as it takes. Gillian, it's a big guy. I don't think you can eat him. Not big enough. You guys, uh, walking up to the big top, the first thing you see is that those golden uh, spinning stars on the three sort of peaks that, that spin on top of the roof. The walls of the tent are painted that whirl with like colorful motion and display the, the vibrant, colorful performance, as I was saying before. And you can hear there's music that matches the mood of the Calio, but from different entrances. So as soon as you walk in, you're met with the interior of a circus performance with like surrounded by the sort of uh, increasing in level benches all around this uh, one circular stage. And there are lanterns and colorful multicolored lights hanging everywhere. Some are floating magically. Other there, you see some performers that are setting up their acts inside of the actual stage area. And then behind them, there seems to be an entrance to some sort of dressing room that is guarded by two of those fair ground employees or hands. Safe to say someone's importance in there, yeah? Yeah, how do you want to handle this? Is anyone alone? Like, is there anyone setting up stuff by themselves? There's a pixie. There's a pixie? Talking with a weasel. You'll take the pixie, I take the weasel? Absolutely. He won't be able to weasel out of this one. I want to see if we can sneak up from like behind a curtain and like grab them and like pull them. Oh, you mean alone inside of the dressing room? Like, no, like, no, like just alone out in the open. I mean, yeah. there's still people around. Yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering, like, is there anyone like hanging out by themselves that people wouldn't notice if they kind of just whoop? You would have to roll to not be noticed for sure. I cast pass without a trace. Yo, I got a zero. I was not built for this. How did you get a zero? I got a two minus two. Well, it's ten. I got a, I got a ten. Ugh. You see Jay shoot an arrow towards the sprinkler system. <laughs> there, there, so there, isn't a, there isn't one. Damn. I make a sprinkler system. <laughs> and then I shoot it. Wow. <laughs> I got a 16 plus 3 plus 10, so 29. That's great, man. Jay, you feel like you're, you're walking pretty steadily, but everyone in the entire room notices Gillian, and, <laughs> and some can't take his eyes off of him. They roll natural 20. Oh shit! Oh, wow. Yeah. So even with the fake sprinkler system, there are some people who are eyeing you and like, is that a performer? Oh Why is my it god, that's cool. He looks cool. <laughs> he looks insane. And for my next trick, I'm going to kidnap someone. <laughs> <laughs> you hear? You hear like two of the the the, the hands. The I'm just gonna start calling them hands. The ones that that employed. Uh, here at the carnival that are guarding the dressing room. They actually look at you. Can hear them off in the distance. They go, "Wow, that's gonna be the most interesting one, one tonight." And the other one goes, like, "Yeah, he looks like a psycho." <laughs> And uh, and where are you guys headed up to the pixie? We're headed out to the pixie and the and the weasel talking together, so we can stealthily yeah. abduct them and ask them questions. Are you ready, buddy? <laughs> Don't be afraid. We're gonna put on the best show of all. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? What? <laughs> you grab the pixie. I grab the weasel. <laughs> you grab the weasel. Yeah. Okay, I grab the pu pi pixie and I put her in like my cape. I I start screaming at the weasel. <laughs> Where is Pretzel? Where is she? <laughs> I put the I put the pixie in the fishbowl and say, "How dare you sit where she did!" <laughs> just just roll roll uh roll sleight of hand versus their saves. Fuck. I say Jay with advantage because yourself. Awesome. Oh, that's nice. That I'm really nice. bad at this, so I'm gonna get a ten. Mine's ten well, as well, well actually. Okay, mine's they're, ten too. Yeah. They're they're very tiny creatures. Uh huh. And um, both duck your hands, <laughs> just in time. And they, they're now trapped in sort of a corner as you're like towering over them, shaking and sweating, like frightened as hell. Where is she? Ah, ah, ah! Ah! 
I lean, in, I lean in really fast like you would do to scare a child. And I would say, I just say, where's Cass? Who? You know who I'm talking about. She's sobbing, she's sobbing. What? So what's the deal, Weasel? <laughs> you know something and you're not saying it's I It's just fucking tell. making weasel sounds. I know. <laughs> Where are you, like some kind of weird cat? This is my weasel. His name is Peanut Butter. So That's a cute <laughs> fucking name. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Is everything? Did you did you lose your partner for your performance? I fall on her. <laughs> <laughs> really? I should roll another yeah, deck yeah. save. I try to. I try to. I try to hug her. Oh, she rolled a natural one. <laughs> um, are you trying to be gentle or? Yeah, it's yeah, a but, pixie but, person. but like I saw myself in her immediately <laughs> as soon as she had a. <laughs> Peanut butter and pretzels go so well together. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna imagine your your forehead is being held up by this tiny pixie, yeah. and um, she goes, it's, "It's okay, it's okay." Um, what? Mm. How can we help? I'm sorry. I just we're just trying to kill the person that took my pets. Whoa. We're just trying to send them back to hell where they belong and make them hurt first. Gee, Willikers. <laughs> I mean, seriously, take them apart piece by piece until they beg and say, no, you showed my no mercy, now die. You have a very atrocious way of speaking. That's because you're talking to Gillian bad, baby. <laughs> now, um, where, can, where can we find Cass? Be careful with those kinds of words around other people. It what? might drop the carnival's mood. Oh, 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 I think I'm going to drop more than that. Mr. Cass won't show himself until the big extravaganza. The big, now, what exactly is this big extravaganza? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> In about one hour, all of us performers are going to do three consecutive big top acts here at the big top for the Whoa. big extravaganza. And then Mr. Cass is going to yell out to the performers or, or, or the people that are the audience and say, would anyone else like to follow up these mar miraculous performers? And then every, every single time we do it, every single day, somebody thinks they're tough, they're really hot, they're so really spicy, they come up here and they try and do a performance. And sometimes they do really well, and then they get hired for the carnival. I think we do a little pre-show, see if we can get Mr. Cass's attention. You're a bad cop, I'm a good cop? What's a cop? If you do well in the performance, you'll definitely get his attention. Oh. Where's the stage? You're, we're standing on it. It's starting. Sorry, I don't, it's, starting. <laughs> it's really hard to see through this thing. <laughs> really difficult. There's three different stages, and they're sort of like... Uh, one big circle with two like medium-sized circles and uh, a surrounding each circle is just the audience like like st seats and whatnot if that makes sense there is like a little divider that sections the the bottom row of the like the place where they seat like sit I'm sure you've seen like an arena or like the inside of a carnival tent at least once in your life they, they come in they okay. get seated and then okay. from the dressing room, all the performers will come out and there will be like three performances at one time happening at once and they will somehow mix together is basically what you're getting from the pixie. And then at the very end, one audience member who is lucky or brave gets to come out and try their own performance to dazzle the crowd and impress the owner of the carnival. Cookie carnivals, Jay. We've only got an hour to put together our show. One that'll wow everyone. You don't have an act? Zonky zebras, we don't. But you do have a bat. I do have a bat, which is <laughs> kind of similarly is a si <laughs> ah! <laughs> I just hit the ground with my bat. Jay. Yeah. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Like blow it up? No, I was just thinking we <laughs> we <laughs> ah! I swing my swing my my cape around and I'm gonna try and smoke bomb again and disappear. Okay, okay, I'm gonna check. Cheese, man. I got an 18. This is the funniest thing ever. Yeah, it's fan fantastic. You're able to disappear in a, in a cloud of smoke, and uh, you hear it, Jay, you <laughs> cough it up once again. <coughs> and stop, stop doing that. Man, your partner is very terrifying. A hand comes out and grabs the pixie. <laughs> 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 if anyone sees you doing any kind of violence, you'll get kicked out of the carnival. Fuck you. 
<laughs> I, I, I disappear and run away. Oh, that's a good. That's a good act. Actually, is miming <laughs> weapons. Oh, that's the so audience. true. Miming weapons. Genius. Okay, here's what I'm thinking, Jay. Okay, yeah. There's all sorts of different magical, uh-huh. whimsical, whim, whimsical rides and and lies and terrible things here. Uh-huh. We can maybe find some of those things to use to our advantage in a performance. We could go around, take the best part of everything. He'll have to tell us where to find Pretzel and where to find these goddamn hags. You're right. In the in the background this whole time where you're talking, you're outside the big top, you hear like people walking around dressed in these, you know, wacky zany outfits and they're going, Big Top Extravaganza happening at midnight, less than an hour. We need to do something, something big, something different. <laughs> big Top Extravaganza. I wish you would stop talking. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> it's just another it's another one of these employees that's kind of dressed like a like a gummy bear is he actually a gummy bear i'm compelled to say yes <laughs> he is not a real gummy bear. well i was gonna eat him <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a good thing he's not <laughs> yeah. all right sorry let's 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 go through the rides let's see if there's anything we can use to get this guy's attention Let's start at the Pixie Kingdom. All right, but as you guys start heading towards the Pixie Kingdom, uh, Chip, why don't you bring your piece of paper up to me as you step onto the platform, staring into the reflective circular lollipop mirror. This is awesome. I'm going to have a great time playing this with Chip. I'm not at all worried about the effects that this could have on the rest of the campaign. <laughs> you step up on the platform. and <sighs> Okay. In your mind. Okay. You start kind of thinking of and imagining the one you wish to speak to and have a conversation with. What do I see? You see the features, the appearance from behind the ocean haired Eden Tide Strider. I fucking knew it, dude. I fucking knew it. Hey! Today's episode of Just Roll With It is sponsored by PayPal Honey. I'm on a Dungeons and Dragons podcast, and even momentary exposure to sunlight will set my entire body aflame, so I love to shop online. And every single time I do, that little coupon box always taunts me at checkout because I know I could be saving some more. And that's where Honey comes in. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically applies the best one it finds to your cart. It supports over 30,000 stores online ranging from tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. This is how it works. You're shopping on one of your favorite sites and you get to check out. All of a sudden, the Honey button drops down and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a couple seconds as Honey does its search and if it finds a working coupon, the price just drops. And this is free. I personally use Honey on every site I can because there's no reason not to. And I've saved five, ten dollars more times than I can count. And now you can get Honey on your iPhone too. Just enable it on Safari and you can find savings on the go. So what are you waiting for, a spicy meatball? If you don't have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. And you are. It's literally free and installs in just a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. I never recommend something I don't use, so go get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash J-R-W-Y. That's joinhoney.com slash J-R-W-Y. Now let's keep rolling. Eden, I, uh, I just, uh, how are you doing? I want to do, um, are, are you there? Hello? You start tapping it. And you see, as soon as you start speaking, she freezes up, like stiff as a board. And she's talking to someone. And you peek around and they're sort of in shadow and they lean in closer to whisper in her ear wearing the uniform of a navy soldier there's no response at the moment as you watch the two talk as this sort of feminine but very old person whispers in their ear can i gather anything what they're saying you don't hear anything you're only seeing and then they lean back away into this like sort of darkness. And then you watch Eden turn. You see her face looking down on the ground, hastily, hurriedly walking in some direction, but you can't see anything from uh, around her. And then you hear again coming out of this mirror without her mouth moving. You hear, who is this and why are you in my head? Oh, it's it's me. It's it, it's Chip. I was. Did you get my message? (laughs) I was gonna. I wanted to talk to you about a message that I don't really think came across right. 
and didn't like <laughs> didn't really represent me. Probably. Whoa, who was that? Chip, as in uh, Gillian's friend. Oh, yeah. Um, pirate captain. Are you watching me? What? No, not in like a creepy way. Okay, so this is it's just a, a message to my brain. Uh, no, I can see you. I saw the saw the person too. Is there an emergency? Why are you con why why are you contacting me? I was contacting you about that message I left that I didn't really think represented me very well. But I, I I'm I, I I don't know what you're 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 doing or or what you saw, but whatever you saw you're you can't tell, Gillian. What did I see? What did you see? I don't know what you saw. That person. I don't have time to explain right now, Chip. But you have to promise me. Even that was Navy. Yes, that that is what it looks like. But it is not. There, there's more to it. I, I do not have time, and I can't be seen looking this worried. I did receive your message. Yeah. So uh, sorry about that. We were just kind of trying to get it to sound right. Yeah. You look, you look pretty busy. Promise me you won't tell. I already promised him I wouldn't lie, but. I, I don't even understand why why were you talk why would you talk to a navy soldier at this point um the sort of mirror reflection that is showing her walking away uh having this like very shell shocked look at her very wide eyes trying not to make eye contact with anyone and it just starts to get blurry and blurry like water sort of reflecting and then it fades away in Eden, Eden oh and then you hear Confetti, you won! Da -da -da -da! And then like a door opens like from the side. You're able to exit the the uh, memories. Da -da -ba -ba. Yeah, I won. Da -da -ba -ba. Da -da -ba -ba. Right, I, I, I step out. <laughs> He's just kind of walking out with like a confused, like almost like that weird face, like he's got a poop or something. A few moments pass as you walk by and just as you walk out, with that expression, you would actually see, um, is it Villian? Now it's Villian, yeah. He has, yeah, he's-, he's Villian Darkstrider. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see Villian, he's wearing the, the dread helmet. The sword has gone fully like obsidian um, black and he's shrouded in these like, <laughs> this fucking like darkness that occasionally you so, see eyes so out of. Chip walks out and then just kind of turns over to look at you. Like with the same look on his face, yeah. like he's walking very stiff. He like takes like four paces and he does a full turn to look at you. He kind of stares for a second. I can't do this today. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the fucking thing that we're looking for? Where's Felipe? Chip. Hello? Chip. What? We need to put on the best improv show ever to save Pretzel. Dude, I just... Well, I'm going to take this whole place to the ground unless you join our improv group. What is this weird side plot you got wrapped up in? <laughs> you also notice, uh, Chip, that the mood of the carnival is very, like, almost the grass is sort of almost dying at this point. The The music is very slow. People look very gloomy. What the hell happened around here? I don't know. Here? Everyone just started getting really <laughs> upset. You see behind me, there's, like, full on, like, a pedestrian shoved into a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> After a moment, a few moments, actually here again. You won, -da -da -ba -ba. and then uh, Felipe walks out of the same place that that ship was in. Yo, Felipe, Felipe, Felipe. Oh, what happened to you, man? Don't even, don't. Okay, don't humor it. Look, I was gonna go for Ashley, but I ended up going for Vanessa Hudgens. She's totally into me, man. You talked to Vanessa Hudgens? I did. What did you say? She said she's gonna break free of her guy. Come with me. No shot, really. Really, yeah. Oh, so you're soaring? Oh, I'm soaring. Yeah, Bob. There's not a star in he star. Star. There's another person in heaven. Star in heaven. Star's dead. What are you? What are you guys doing? Well, did you talk to Vanessa Hudgens also? I talked to Ashley Tisdale. You talked to Ashley Tisdale. Really? No yeah. way. I'm her biggest fan ever. I let what her know. What did she say? I let her know. I said, Gillian, my friend Gillian's your biggest fan. Look, what are you guys doing? What? What's the? I already told you we're, the, we're 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 going on an improv show. That girl with the pig mask. Oh, that the, she did this. She took. She took pretzel. pretzel. So oh, I. What? So I took an oath. Where's your little pig octopus? Yeah, that's pretzel. Felipe, get on the wave wavelength we're on right now. Oh man, I know you're coming off the high right now of talking to Vanessa Hudgens. Uh, actually, I'm always high. I believe that.
I look at his pupils. How dilated are they? He doesn't have any. Holy shit. You know, frogs actually pupil. have drugs that secrete from their elbows. That's true. You want to drop acid? This requires further investigation, Jay. <laughs> Three, two, one. What happens? <laughs> With what? We lick his elbows. Oh. Roll a con- constitution saving okay. throw. I made that up, bro. Oh, you did? What? But you would never lie to Gillian. I got a 20. <laughs> 25. Actually, I'm 24. 24 because I'm next to Gillian. Uh, you guys must have a high tolerance because nothing happens. He goes, uh, oh, man. Oh, These edibles stop. Shit, what is bro. this? We- no, stop not, looking at me. Not even hitting. Why are you looking at me? Oh, gross. So we have to we have to do an improv show? That's right. And we need props what happened, what happened to Pretzel, though? Pretzel was taken by a horror monster from Amir, and I'm going to find Maybe. her and destroy her and all the hags. Maybe an improv show is the lives. best thing to do We have right to do now? an improv show. An improv show is exactly what we need right now. Chip, if you say that one more time, I will believe you and destroy everyone and everything here. All right, let's, let's go. We're going to go plan the improv show we're gonna go do that jay uh we i need to work on a musical number with you while gillian i really need you, you can't to, plan an improv show i need you Chip. to focus on your vocals that's the point of improv uh okay then we're gonna we're gonna go get some props together so that we can throw them out there yeah i'd like to go to the pixie kingdom you like to go to the pixie yeah. kingdom oh dude i fucking love yeah, let's, pixies let's man. go let's go talk about lunch the, let's go I just, I just need jay to come over oh, here geez. and help me grab a couple of props Y- yeah, sure, I guess. All right, Jay, keep an eye out for anything untrustworthy. Let me know if anything yeah. comes up. With me, Villian. What a, what a conundrum, Chip. Let's go to the Pixie King yes. first. We should get you a cool new villain name too, Felipe. Uh, Felipe. it's Felipe. Felipe, Kilipe. It's Felipe, that's just my name. Are you a villain, Felipe? That depends. Who's asking? <laughs> <laughs> Felipe, you're so cool. Yeah, he pulls out some sunglasses from under somewhere and uh, puts it on. Do they even cover his eyes? Nope. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. I know. All right, let's go to the Pixie Kingdom. We're going to the Pixie Kingdom. Have fun getting props. What's happening? Well, I was hoping you would tell me what was happening. Oh, with, with I was Gillian. just like, what's happening with you? What's what's popping? Um, you see, as I drop kick a food stand, <laughs> 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 just, like literally, I'm walking. Everything's fine. The person looks at me, and I look back at them for like two seconds, and then just full on drop kick at corn dogs go everywhere, and I keep going. Gillian- doesn't look so. Gillian lost pretzel. Is this the best way to? Who would I be if I didn't enable him in his time of need? <laughs> I don't know, like a good friend. This um, no. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tell you something. I, I don't really know how to. Okay, do you remember when I, I tried to? Uh, I look over at Gillian to see if he's listening. Probably not. Okay. No, I don't think so. I'll just be causing general problems so you remember when we when we went to talk to eden and we left that weird message and i didn't really want to yeah, leave things yeah, like that so i wanted to see if there was another way i could talk to her well yeah. that little booth over there you can talk to anybody you want so i thought maybe i go and you know get myself out of that mess and and let eden know that you know that that message wasn't really representative of me and, and my character and, and like I, i'm not i'm not that weird and, and everything you are such a dweeb <laughs> i i talked to her and she was she was talking to some Navy soldier. Of high rank. Felipe. <laughs> <laughs> He's in on it. Oh my God. What what did they look like? It was it was an older woman. She looked pretty high up. May I roll? History. Yeah, roll history. Hmm. History is plus four, twenty one. God damn. You have a you have an older aunt who is the oldest in your family. That could be it. Her name is Faye Farron. What is how what is she doing? Was she Yelling or no? Uh, they were just talking. I don't know what about. I I couldn't make out anything. That she was whispering, and all she could keep saying was, "Don't tell Gillian. Don't tell Gillian. Don't tell Gillian." And I don't even think he'd believe me if I told him. I don't think he would either. But like, but I also don't think that if we were going to tell him that now is the time. No, he's in a very. He's yeah. You see, as you're talking about no one will believe him, uh, I, I am also saying no one will believe you and eating a uh, gummy bear man. <laughs> <laughs> just like behind the Yeah, tent, he's like, in a very me. vulnerable state right now. I'll just say you are, but like not really because that would be uh, murder. <laughs> <laughs> they're, it's, they're like... You think it's a gummy bear They live to die, man. you know what I mean? But it's just a really large gummy bear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I imagine the screams. It's talking. No, it's screaming. But it's like part of the it's part of the experience. Oh, it's like animated? Yeah. It, oh, that's cool. Jay, I'm just, I'm really starting to think she's not who she, she says she is. 
that? <laughs> you like that, don't you? Tell me where she is. Tell me where she is or your other foot goes next. Yeah. They're called, it's a stand called the Screaming Gummy Bears. I can take the fucking calories, but can you take the pain? Sing the Gummy Bear song. I want the gummy, gummy, gummy. Louder. Oh, I'm a gummy bear. Yes, you are. <laughs> you were a gummy bear. <laughs> are you gonna stop him? Um. Yeah, Chip. Are you gonna stop me? <laughs> and then you guys hear it. Yeah, I think I'm good. <laughs> what do you mean we need pixie names before we could enter? And you see that he's standing at the entrance to the pixie kingdom, and behind this sort of very small mini miniature entrance to this very large uh, sort of gathering of like trees that shelter this garden-esque part of the fairgrounds. Uh, you would also notice that there is a tiny hamster inside of a tiny Ferris wheel encircled by a bunch of tiny, very miniature wagons and candy stalls and uh, a bunch of different pixies in like their own little sort of town or realm. And at the very start, where you guys are being kind of barred entry, is a, a, a little bit larger of a pixie, but still kind of same size, very small, right in front of Felipe's face going, yeah, if you want in, you have to take a pixie name. I, I look past the pixie and towards the hamster and I say, huh, pixies are real. I, I hold, <laughs> I grab Chip and we stop just a little bit before the entrance, before we meet up with everybody else. Listen, the only old woman I know that's in the Navy that's higher up is my aunt. And, and it's probably not good if Eden's talking to your aunt. If, yeah, if Eden's talking to anybody in my family, then uh, it's never a good sign. Unless she's really in deep undercover. She's just like, out of curiosity, do you think she's the other chosen one? That was the first thing that crossed my mind when you said she was there. That's if there is another chosen one. Yeah, we could have totally just made that up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But like, we are, a little, we are a little insane. But they did talk about another chosen one, didn't they? They did. I could have sworn they did. I don't know. I don't. Maybe we deal with... Maybe it's an artificial chosen one, like they had the artificial Leviathan. That would be crazy. That would be insane. Yeah. Let's, anyway, let's get, let's get some some yeah. pixie names. Well, let's get Pretzel back, and then just what do I tell Gil? For now. Yeah, I just lied to him. I told him I wouldn't lie to him. Little white lies are sometimes okay. Okay, I'm gonna make sure. To, okay, but if he figures out you said that, all right, and you don't white lie about white lying. Okay. Okay. And you'll own that. Okay. And you'll say that that was okay. Yeah, okay. Are you crossing <laughs> your fingers? What do you mean? I see it. <laughs> Pinky promise. Oh. I don't take the fall for this. I'm not going to be the bad guy. Okay. Are you crossing your other fingers? Hold it up. Stop. No. 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 <laughs> okay. Stop, Jay! <laughs> Pinky promise! Lock okay, it! Okay, P Pinky promise. Now kiss it. You gotta kiss it. Now that's real. And if you break that, you're gonna die horribly. What? Whoa. White lie. Let's that, go. All right, I go in and I also kiss the kiss it because everyone's doing it. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Gil. <laughs> Whoa, see, Gil! See, that... It was a friend activity. Yeah. And I know I've changed a lot in the last hour about but i just want to let you know that i'm still your friend yeah i wish to be included hey buddy in such trust building are you, exercises are you feeling hungry yeah at all? here i'm actually quite full and you hear a scream from inside me i take oh. my pinky back slowly. i pinky promise fully back i don't know what i pinky promise him but i do it i link pinkies with him and i kiss it i pinky promise to throw down my life for you chosen one in any Felipe. time of need Felipe, or any dire circumstance whatever you say Go into battle, Felipe. Throw your life away from me. I will do it for you, Felipe, chosen one. The difference is you don't even have to ask. <laughs> I, I, I kiss him and make another concert. You kiss him. <laughs> I kiss. I kiss his hand. You just, you just entered a pack. Yeah, I know. It's funny. Is that a natural one? No, you knocked the desk and it flipped. Oh, I did. I looked away and I looked back no, and it was, it was a natural, natural one. one. Was it? Yeah. Is a natural <laughs> one funnier? Yeah, it is. I'd like to take the natural one. Okay, you're just poisoned. Ah! Oh, yeah, sorry. That's my acid. Until the poison wears off, I'm high as, I'm high as shit. Whoa! <laughs> this is going to be the worst improv show ever. Oh! No, wait, no, we still have an hour. He'll come down. I feel like I could just 
throttle someone. Look, if we want inside the Pixie Kingdom, he said we gotta. He said we gotta have Pixie names. My Pixie name is Spring Kill. Spring Kill with emphasis on kill. What if you? Uh, what if you had a last name like Spring Kill? You, Spring Kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I like, go up to the person to tell them that my name, my pixie name is Spring Kill You. You, uh, you walk up to this pixie kind of barring entry, and you introduce yourself as uh, Jeremy Plum. That's a good name, but mine's better. <laughs> Spring Kill You, now. Oh, fantastic! That's and then he pulls out this little pouch and then pff, blows uh, sparkling golden dust on you, and you shrink down to the size of a pixie. How did you make that sound? That was incredible. I was like an air horn for a second. You literally were. (laughs) Holy shit, that was awesome. You unlocked a core memory for me. Do you remember like the Toy Story movies and the bloopers when they would make the sound at the end between the bloopers? You made that sound. No shot. You made that exact sound. That's awesome. All right, I'm tiny size. Yes, you guys watch Gillian shrink down to the size of like like an actual pixie, like very tiny. And then start, whatever you start doing, the, uh, he looks at all of you, all right, who's next? Do you want uh, a pixie name? I'll recommend. Uh, Chip. No. Chip and Dip. Yes. Okay. Pff, you're tiny now. What do you, what do you got for me? I want to know what you got for me. How about Jelly Bean Panache? No. Jay, it's no fun if you let him make them. You have to make them yourself. <laughs> it's me, Pixilium. <laughs> Oh god, there's a bug here. <laughs> I die. I literally die. She hits me and I die. Hey! What's your what's your pixie name? Make one, make one. Um 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 What's a what's J make what's a play on J? J What about J Lee Beam? What about J? Just J, the letter J. Nope. Jort. Chip and, chip and dip. Call like? yourself Jort. Say your name is Jort. <laughs> Jorts. Jorts. <laughs> My name's Jorts. Alright, Jorts. <laughs> <laughs> you, have, you have to make a sound. You gotta make a sound. Yeah, you become tiny. You're all tiny. You walk into the pixie kingdom, which is also tiny. What do you say? Why do you say like that? Why do you I don't know. <laughs> what happened to your voice? I think they made me a weird pixie. That's weird. You're weird. You're weird. Get away from me. What does Felipe sound like? My pixie oh. name is, is, is Dorito. Locos Tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Do you, think our, do you think our equipment shrank with us at the same time that we did? Let's check. I pull okay. my gun. I pull out a collapsible pole. Yes, anything on your person would would have sent would have. If shrunk. I let it go, will it become normal size again? No. Okay, I was really hoping I get activated. I know it just go <laughs> flying. <up. laughs> I wonder if pretzel shrunk. Pretzel would have been tiny. It would have been very cute. My little electron. So you guys walk around uh, the Pixie Kingdom and you see that Oasis vibe uh, with with tranquil vibes. Oh, did they punch our card by the way? Uh, he did as you walked in. Okay, cool. Okay. It's very, very peaceful compared to the rest of the carnival, which is honestly kind of in a uh, a sour mood. But in here, it's it's still very nice, and you can you can smell uh, uh, very fruity wines uh, and then different you know vibrant flowers as well. And you see that there are eight there are eight brightly painted doorways that are nestled in. The, the bark of the surrounding trees, as well as a circle formation of wagons. And you also see 12 other pixies and this small hamster running in the Ferris wheel, turning the Ferris wheel, and a pug missing one eye, running around and giving all pixie, there's different pixies a ride around this area. Aww. What do they call you? <coughs> oh, I'm gonna call you Jabba the Hunt. A, 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 pig, a pixie leans over. Oh, hi there! Welcome to Pixie Kingdom! Holy shit! You wanna take a ride on Winx? I'll take you for a ride. A Winx. vengeance! Improv You've got show. just the right energy for our improv show! <laughs> yeah! That's the stuff I, I like to see! I'd like, look up at him, huge It's like slobbering. It's like massive. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> uh, I'll take, uh, yeah, I'll take a ride on, on Winx the Pug. Yeah. Ah, right, get on up here! Hop on, everybody, let's go! Come on, Chip, yay! <laughs> this is fucking a fever dream, dude. <laughs> Gillian, we will find Pretzel and The light will... is shrouded. This world is not mine. I should have been the one to show your dark heart to love. <laughs> the Pixies as well, if you guys hop on to Winx the Pug, who's very excitable, starts balancing around. Uh, you're all struggling to hold on, and then they sprinkle a lot of their pixie dust, and uh, she takes off. What the off, fuck does that mean? And they, they sprinkle, <laughs> they, they flap their wings, and it, oh. it dusts it dusts little pixie like, dust. What do you mean? I'd like to use animal handling to try to steer it to the, to, to the, to the big top. We hallucinated those portals 
fell off <laughs> of the roof dead. and died. We're in the hospital. And this is where we are. <laughs> I kind of love it though. Yeah, me too. We're stealing the dog. How do you try and steer I'm it? I'm handling it. Nope. How? It's Ratatouille. What? Okay, what'd you roll? A 14. For some reason, you're able to steer Winks the pug, and one of the pigs goes, Hey, what you doing? We this is this, all right. We need this dog for our improv show. You're right. It is all right. Tee hee. What kind of improv show are you talking about? The best one. An improvisational one, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you want to put him up? Duke's up right now. We're in the ass and no one can see us fight. All right. I put my, I throw my hands up. All right, make a dexterity save. <laughs> uh, both of us? Who? You. Oh, okay. Oh, well, actually, uh, all three of you, except, or all two of you, except uh, all three of you, Felipe. This I got a, a, good I got a seven. Right I got a seven. Was it dexterity? He deserves save? better. 14. That's crazy that you rolled a three and you can get a 14. I got, I got a seven. Jay? Wait, did I do it? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said except Jay. I changed my mind. Okay. 25. Okay. Plus four, 29. Uh, Felipe and Gillian, and uh, including this pixie who starts walking at you like with his dukes up, he they you all fall overboard as uh, the flying pug is flying and being controlled by Jay, and uh, uh, you and Felipe get to hang on, but you watch as that pixie who's been talking to you that you didn't get to learn his name or anything just falls off. No, um, our improv show it won't go down like this. Uh, I am going to you and Felipe are hanging on like one of the nails. Yeah, we're hanging dogs. on one of the nails. <clears throat> okay, check this out. Oh, I'm gonna cast. Hell, man. I'm gonna cast a spell that I switched something out for that I have not had the chance to cast. Okay. That I was going to cast on the gummy bear clown to bring him to me and then eat him. I am going to cast the second level spell of Vortex Warp. Mm -hmm. So you see, as Gillian reaches a hand out uh, and uses his now I guess fucking dark <laughs> dark pout. This is a lot happening right now. <laughs> as a fixie. Um, I've kind of lost track. <laughs> he he reaches out and like this almost like dark like cloud appears um, below uh, uh, the pixie as he's falling and like tendrils come up and like swallow him and then he's just like fully gone. And you just hear a low passed scream like move past your ears and then it opens up again at the top and he is basically dropped out um, back on top of the of the pug. I guess assuming he's willing, unless he is not willing to be he's teleported. Gone. Yeah, I mean, if you're trying to save the pixie falling, you can. He'll yeah, yeah, I basically am. So I like, I'm holding on and I reach out uh, uh, and I do some improv and I uh, and I save him. All and right. I use a second level spell to do that. Right over, but you're still hanging along with I'm Felipe. I'm still hanging. Felipe is hanging on your ankle. Oh, don't let me fall, man. It's okay, Felipe. I'll save you. And Jay falls off the dock. Who would have thought that friendship was magic? Oh, oh no, Jay! <laughs> okay, what? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Right, so you're I'm steering, joking. you're steering uh, Winks the pug into the big top. You're Did that to help the mood that I saved that guy? I'm sorry. I just want to know if they are like me anymore. <laughs> you guys, you guys just stole the pug from Pixie Kingdom. Oh, well, <laughs> what about but it? But like in a quirky wet. Yeah. I don't understand what the, these guys don't get fun. They <laughs> pretend to be whimsical, but it's like only in their rules. You know what I mean? They don't get it yet. You're with me, right? I think if we were really whimsical, we would grab them all by their throats and fling them. <laughs> what? Yeah, I think you're that's what we have to do. You're you're psycho, that's your yeah. you're, that's No, you're no, psycho. see, now you're trying to put me in a box and put me in rules, and I'm just I'm just not having it. I am. I think you, you know box. what I'm ready to do. I want to eat another gummy bear guy, and I want I want to regurgitate him. Where are you? You taking it to the the big top? For, yeah, for, for to what? join our improv show. All right, yeah, so sure. I do need a clarification. <laughs> that's it. Just the pug. We're taking the pug and the pixie and the pixie <laughs> and and we're pixies. Yeah, and oh shit, we're pixies. <laughs> no, we're pixies. And we're leaving. <laughs> oh, I didn't think about that. That's to all right. Go to the big top. <sighs> Come on, we have to go put on the best impression we of the whole world. The whole place. Let's put this hey, honey, I'm home. And we fly it. Why? To that. <laughs> and we're going to put on an improv show. Fuck yeah, let's do it. Whatever. I'm in it. I'm in it. Sure. How'd you get your voice to sound normal again? Uh, no, that was just me in real life, just trying to figure this out. All right, all right look, what are we. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do in the end? I, I guess let's land on top of the big top so that when the time comes, we can bust in through the roof for our cool improv show. Yeah, we busted through the roof. What's yeah, up, motherfuckers? Yeah, we busted through the roof. Okay, let's park this pug here. The pixie posse you in this here. bitch. I'm staring at the light, hoping God will take me. <laughs> 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 All right, yes, yeah, so you're gonna you're gonna stay on the roof and miss the show, and wait for it to end for you to go in. I mean, we could like make a little hole. No, dude, we. Plunge through. I'm talking full on 
Smack down versus no, 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 raw. We wait. We elbow down through the roof. What do we do? I think we have to wait for our chance because he was saying, because it would be bad if we just showed up and crashed it. You land on the roof of the big top with Winx. One of the pixies that's been riding with you, I'm just gonna say it's just one at this point now. The other one's probably panically dropped, jumped off when you started leaving no, Pixie okay. Kingdom. Okay, and fine. the one that you saved goes, hey, what's the big idea? And then you also hear on the ground floor, um, very, very loud because you're very small. You hear someone yelling, 45 minutes oh shit, we to the bitch top extravaganza. Okay, you stay up here with this dog and practice improv. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> you're gonna be a pixie for an hour, mate. What? You left the kingdom. Oh, look at the carnival. All the mood is down. Oh, no. You've caused chaos. This is a big problem for little old us. <laughs> <laughs> what could we possibly do to raise the mood? I know. Let's do a fundraiser. That's ridiculous, Jay. I'm sorry. I don't want these people to get money. I want them to give me my goddamn frog to push back. Oh, I'm angry and I'm gonna kill someone. I'm gonna sli start sliding. <laughs> I pull out my, my really tiny like toothpick sword and I start sliding down the the, the fucking uh, thing because we need to go to another ride to get more props for our improv show. Hey, Jay. Okay, let's follow him. I don't know how long I can enable. So you leave the dog and the pixie on the top of the tent? Yeah, what do you they're, mean? They're part of I our... mean, I'm, we're pixies, and my eyes are colorful, and there's a dog, and we're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen, if you, listen, stay up right there. We're gonna put on the best show this place has ever, ever seen. We're gonna get Cass's big attention. Okay, roll persuasion. Six plus four is 10 plus, okay, 18. Yeah, sure, just get me down after. Yeah, of course, do you know any cool, do you know any cool rides where we can find any sick props for our cool show that we're gonna do? What's an improv show? Have you ever improvised before? I don't know, I think we'll just wing it. All right, everyone see where they're going on. Three, one, two, lost property. Pop uh, uh, I'm gonna mine. take some lost and found stuff. I'm sure there's good stuff there. Wait. I go to the Hall of Illusions. So the three of you split up, head your ways. We'll start with Gillian, who goes to the bubble teapot. Yay! I, I, I'd actually, I would be passing by the Pixie Kingdom. I don't suppose there's any chance that I could crawl up on the guy's shoulder and tell him to try and turn me back, right? He is also a pixie. You can just shout at him. Okay. If you mean you're walking past yeah, that I way? Yeah, I'm actually so sprinting past way? it because I'm tiny. Okay. <laughs> Hey, bring our dog back! Hey, oh, it's, we're actually, is it okay if we have him for our improv show? We're just gonna do a little bit? Persuasion. That's, oh, 17. Yeah, all cool. right. All right, cool. Uh, I think it'd probably be funnier if you, I wasn't really small too. Is you're performing at the Big Top Extravaganza. Yeah, the Big Top Extravaganza in like 45, 40, 40 minutes. Oh, why'd you say something? Why'd you come here then? Well, and then he claps and you're big again. <laughs> My, my, all the air just re-entered my lungs. It's all free to go, so I'll make sure to stop by and see Winks in action. All right, thank you. Uh, uh, all right, I, I run off to the Bubble Pop uh, uh, teapot now. This is yeah. next to it. So you see what is a 20-foot a tall teapot resting on a wooden platform. It's painted uh, with a surface of like a moving imagery of a, dra a dragon breathing out bubbles. <laughs> and at the base of the teapot, there is this uh, entryway that uh, allows you to enter in. Uh, and um, yeah. You would you would know that uh, after just walking up, there's someone who is uh, sitting there like grumbling, just a goblin with like a like a bright yellow butterfly wings, carrying like a string of teaspoons on his belt. <laughs> Punches your ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I look him I look him dead in the eyes and like the most serious I've ever been. I oh, put my actually, hand on his shoulder and I say, he looks around. After you say that, he goes Arr. Arr. He reaches into his like his like a little vest pocket, pulls out something, and uh, he's gonna do like a handshake. Okay, I go for it. Okay, a slight hand. Sleight of hand? Fuck. Uh eleven. <laughs> so you actually trade with some kind of packet of what looks like leaves inside of a like a I think I actually just did it. Like a, like a little little bag, and he takes your ticket, punches it, and then hands you your ticket back. I'll save these for the improv. He's like, you know, like, like kind of okay, okay. Yeah. holding a string I, uh, up. He's yeah, just walking around. Inside. You go inside. Are right, you go inside? Finally, it's so good to see someone speaking Gillian's natural dialect. <laughs> <laughs> That's me giving up. 
Can you imagine all the NPCs just turn into that? Like, <laughs> just <laughs> well, imagine that Gillian is just high as shit and thinks it sounds like that. Dude, so he's he, looking at I this think man. That, I think that Felipe acid is probably hitting right now. Yeah, so that, the dude was totally just like, hey, how are you doing? And you walked and went, <laughs> and like, he punched shit. your ticket out of fear. As you enter, you are suddenly enveloped in a magical giant bubble that starts to push you through the spout of this giant teapot and floats you up high up in the sky, uh, getting this really wonderful aerial view of the carnival. And you're floating gently. As soon as I'm actually alone with my thoughts, I immediately start crying. <laughs> oh no. Like, as soon as there's nothing more to distract me, there's no like whimsy and it's literally just me. I mean, like I, I would look, I would some, I would try and look for pretzel. But like, I, it's, we're so high up. Just look, yeah. Um, I just do that and I'm misty eyed and I can't see. Just anything. roll on athletics uh, with disadvantage through the tears. Yeah. It's not my destiny to do this shit. 15. Please get something good. Hang on. This is going to be sick. Natural 20 would matter. 15. Uh, well, I'll just say that you, you're able to control this bubble and go wherever you'd like. Okay. Cool. I actually got a 22. Um, and you see exactly what you see on that map from that view. Okay, well, I guess that's... Surrounded by clouds and a forest yeah. and, a, and a running river with a swan traversing well, through it. I can't see the past the clouds. It's more like just like a, a much thicker fog. Mm, okay. But it's really hard to see. Do I see where... Uh, I wouldn't see where Chip and Jay are because they're tiny. They're very tiny. You wouldn't... Uh, okay, yeah. I guess I'll... I guess I'll fly over... I guess I'll just fly over the whole carnival and see if there's anything that stands out that's happening right now. And and I, I'm gonna fly towards the feasting orchard to uh, to binge eat. That's a good idea. Yeah. All yeah, right. So uh, after about a I'm minute, I'm gonna get a pie at a comically. I'll travel. You gently float down. Well, first the bubble pops. Oh shit! I was hoping we could keep it for our improv show. Well, do you think you just float down anyways? Um, Wee. Yeah, but uh, with because you're a moisture man, you can probably use your moisture to blow bubbles through your fingers. For at least the rest of the carnival. This is going on the character sheet, bro. That's huge. <laughs> and then next up, we get to Jay, who will go back to Lost Things to meet with Durla. What do you What do you say? As, hey, uh, Durla, <sighs> Durla, down here. Hey, hey, it's me. It's me, oh. Jorts. You left the Pixie Kingdom early. I did. What's it to you, huh? You got beef? No. Listen, Dur listen, Durla. We're trying to run an improv show. I need I need anything that's lost that hasn't been claimed and, and you're willing to give away. Uh, real persuasion. Absolutely. Nobody can say no to vo this voice. We need props. <laughs> persuasion, that's a 17. You may have this cake around my neck. It dispenses an infinite amount of apple juice. That makes no fucking sense, but I'm in, god damn it. And you take the collar like keg, uh, or he- I thought you said cake. I did too, and I was like, <laughs> what? Oh, I, 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 just, I described it on his fucking collar. Yeah, I, I, thought I was wondering how he had cake around his neck. No, keg. Uh, so one of, uh, one, of, one of the kids, he asks for help and they help him take the collar off and it just, it sits next to you. It looks like a giant keg dude because you're a tiny pixie. Okay, now how do I move this thing? Ah! <laughs> 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 Disadvantage strength. <laughs> it's gonna you can't work. push it, but I bet it would float. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's a float. Okay, so we got a three and a four, so uh, two or three, two. Uh, it'll take you exactly 45 minutes to push it all the way <laughs> through God. the top. <laughs> 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 All right, you, you're gonna keep doing that? Yeah, I keep pushing away. Uh, Darla says, Best of luck with your performance. Thanks! <laughs> and uh, Chip. So, walking by, I would like to stop by the Pixie Kingdom. Say, Hey, freeze me, motherfucker! Oh, you're one of the friends! Uh, and you're back to normal. Uh, I don't give a thanks. shit! Thanks, man! And I walk along. I can't wait would... to see you perform improv show telling yeah, all my friends. Yeah, for sure. What the fuck? Um, I walk along. This is, I this is actually <clears> awesome, dude. I walk down, <gasps> and I would like to check out this little tent right down here at the bottom of the map with the swirly little horns because it looks suspicious, and I want to know what's going on here. Okay, yeah, that tent it, it is it has a label. You do walk up to it, and it says uh, "Deal or No Deal." Okay. I'm really looking for anywhere, maybe, maybe, because I, I know that these hags, like the way to get to them is in, in here, in the carnival. 
somewhere. I'm looking for that. That's what I'm looking for. Roll investigation, I'll say both for, roll twice, both for what did you find in that shop as you walk up and walk past the Hall of Illusions, and then roll again for if you find any information. All right, this is for what's in the shop. That is an 18 on what's in the shop. Um, And this is to find that. Damn, 15. So what you see is a shop of different sort of magic items. You see a horn that is carved to look like a dragon, uh, or, or sorry, not a horn, a pipe. Uh, you see a few different potions, uh, an orb as well that has like some sort of compass on it. You see uh, different blades. You see a really creepy looking doll. And then as you're sort of perusing and looking around before you go looking around the carnival, a man uh, wearing a, like a, almost like a, a one of those masks that's split down the middle with one emotion on the other and, and another emotion on the other side walks up to you and says, Are you perusing my cart? Oh, shit. <laughs> Are you the, uh, I look over to the potions. The potion seller? I could be a potion seller of sorts, if that is your fancy. Potion seller, I need your strongest potions. Golly, quite damper on the mood here in the carnival. Um, no. Unfortunately, you can't handle my strongest potions there. I'm going into an improv show, potion seller. And, and I is, need um, your strongest potions. Um, What is your name, uh, uh, traveler, adventurer? Wait, Mine? don't tell me. Chibo. That's impressive. Was I close? Spot on. Well, Chibo, I don't have strong, uh, I don't have potions that are your level, but I do have this. And he reaches into his like sort of a, a coat that is, he's wearing, it's like very stitched together, almost like uh, like one of those scarecrows that have like the like the patchwork sort of like outfits. It's uh, it's very funky. And he pulls out a deck of cards. Oh, fuck. oh no. Oh, what's that? This is a very mysterious randomized item. Pull a card and your fate might change. And he opens the cards for you. I don't know if I want to do that. Well, then wait, it can wait, be yours. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know if I want to do that yet. See, I'm going into an improv show and if I can't have your strongest potions, I'm going to need one of those. But I need it to like delay the changing. Can we like wait until like it gets there? Will you come with me? I cannot leave my booth, my friend. But What if, if we bring the booth? No. What if you take the cards? All of them? For a price. Okay, what's the price? Deal or no deal. Deal or no deal? He's wearing like a like a like a glove, like a white glove with three stripes. I'd like to insight check. I think I have what do I have an in insight? You I won't have... roll insight? You can roll insight or perception. You'll get two different answers. Oh, I will roll perception seven. <laughs> you don't notice anything out of the ordinary? Well, nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> you shake his hand? I Excellent. Excellent. The cards are yours. I thought there was a price. That was the price. Whoa. Are you just touch deprived? Enjoy the rest of the carnival. I feel you, man. See ya. So as soon as you start to go looking around the carnival for the entrance to the next, uh, by the way, guys. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I thought you were just going to end it at the laugh. There is one more thing I want to do. Yeah. Yeah, so while I'm walking back by well, the you Hall know of Illusions, I'd like to poke my head in. From within inside, you hear, you know, you can come in. Hello? So you walk in, and at first you see that same interior of the, the mirrors lining the interior walls, the tall mirrors, and you see your reflection of you being a kid. And uh, you know that walking, you, all you have to do is walk forward and turn right. Um, and so you do so, and as your uh, reflection starts to get older and older and older, older you get to... One, uh, or as soon as you turn that corner, when you're about to get to your current age, you see a figure leaning up against the uh, this hallway, against one of the mirrors, in this very uh, extravagant top hat, very, uh, very well adorned and made sort of uh, uh, showman attire, uh, all black and red and purple and and just uh, like very not not too like out there in your face, not too sparkly or, or ostentatious, but very well presentable and uh, very particular. He's important. Uh, basically, he looks very, very, very distinguished in this fine attire, uh, holding both a pocket watch as he's looking at the pocket watch, his uh, big top hat with a rose in the very center of it covers the face and his uh, arm is resting on some sort of uh, magical looking cane. That's the only way to describe it. And as you approach that hallway, he sort of looks over to the right and says, why don't you come closer, kiddo? I hold my hands up and I like, do no, 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 no. There's no reason to be f afraid. 
My name is Mr. Cass, the what? owner of this carnival. Hey, you took my friend's frogtopus! <laughs> and um, he removes the top hat to look at you and reveals like very slicked back brown hair with frosted tips and looks in your direction with these like sort of uh, 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 un or very or well-kempt but just out of fashion sideburns, very old, uh, and a pair of, of circular glasses with a crack on the left side. And he looks at you and says, you know, my carnival is quite sad and I gather it's because of your friend. Um. And you. I didn't do anything. I mean, Gil is a little upset, but that's only because you took pretzel. Which, by the way, you need to give her back. I assure you, kiddo. I haven't taken anyone. Inside. 12 minus 1, 11. He looks concerned, but kind. And he says, how about after the big top extravaganza, the three of you meet me in my tent, and we can have a conversation on why you're not having a good time. Well, that depends. Are we going to get pretzel back? I hope so. And he starts to uh, turn around. You know, I remember when we got here, they said we got one, we got tickets left for us. Do you know who that was? Stops as he's like walking away, puts the hat on. I might have an inkling. And then like twirls the cane in his hand and starts to walk away. His uh, like boots just sort of like slowly echoing on this on this ground. Prick. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we're gonna end the session. Yeah, I mean, yeah, prick, prick. Yeah, 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 prick, yeah, prick. No, yeah, prick. yeah, I don't really like this guy. Yeah, dude, this improv show is going to kill everyone inside this carnival. <laughs> I wanted to get the mime. I was looking for the mime. If you brought the mime on, that would have been that would have been a night to remember for sure. You I'm sure the mime still, on arena. I still can. Oh jeez, man, <laughs> that was uh... that was great, Grizz. I'm so glad that it's it's nice to just kind of like you know follow along the module and just feel like we're you know we're just so we're just so like locked in with it. You know, we're going by the book. We're doing things the way they're meant to be do done. Just feels good. Totally. I yeah. think next session, for everyone listening, I'm not going to be using this anymore. <laughs> I think we're going back to the old days. I'm going to take this book's plot and write it down on my notes without looking at the book. And we're going to do that without looking at the book anymore because it's impossible. Take this map away. I like the map. I know. <laughs> It's made you mad with power. <laughs> what do you mean? I can go anywhere I want. I know. I mean, reality can be whatever I want it to be. But what should it be? We'll play again. Hope you like listening to that. I you thought loved it was funny. listening to that. I thought it was you fun. loved it. You loved listening to that. You loved it. Yeah, you liked Bye. that. Bye. Bye. I just wanted to drop a quick thank you to our patrons. Oh, Kerberos. Did someone say Colin? I'm butt flusting. A guard, Steeljaw, Beans, Wolfie, Jaden Grant. Pippin the Oracle, Just Gherkin, Mega Cyanex, Tane Lambert the Snazziest, Sweet Cacti, Baka7, Cal's the Folded Pizza Zone, The Awesome Man, Fly Guy, Amber Curry, I See Sharky, Man Made Imp, Mage W, Your Personal Jester, Jordan Darlin, Red Sus Over Paradise, Sleepy Wither, Mr. Nacho, Wild James, Clever Everest, Rikate, Kev Senpai, Figuratively Speaking, Finroa, Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear 417, Boss Goat, Grand Archer, Riker Zinn, Artemis Loves You, Definitely Not a Turtle, Everett Stoker, Crobins, Megan Elliott, Netven, Deathclaw, Scarab 5, Sandy 007, Cheshire, Star Crowned Ravings, Blue Blend Blop, Zerberus, Elvish Cyborg, Alyssa, Lord Ticklefish, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, Raytheon, Expoogaloo, Neo Draconis Stewart, Serene is actually a skeleton, Material Seaweed, Teddy Love Bites, Gillian's Biggest Fan, Cornier Comet, Jumpiest Venus 34, Your MB Pal Val, Riker Kurotu, Nonzolotl, Funny Hats Incorporated, JRWI Enjoyer, and of course, Jay Newell. Thank you guys so much for the support on this show. It really means the world to us and helps us so much. Cannot begin to describe it. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.